what is up guys welcome back to the shape shack today i'm gonna waste no time per usual and get into southern witchcraft's automash this is a beautiful scent this is a maple spice smoke amber and cedar i mainly get the maple spice and oak cedar same thing maple spice and smoke a little woody just a great fall scent getting a little late to review this but i mean better late than ever right so we're jumping into the one blade razor today it's gonna be a face shave with the i believe this is a gym blade I'll pop the spine off of it. I'll explain how to do that in a second. And we're going with the Amber Aerolite by PAA. 24 millimeter synthetic. Beautiful brush. And we'll be finishing up with Sawin from Southern Witchcrafts with a balm, unscented, and alum at the end. So, let's get on into it. Got about three days growth. I get a lot of the maple and spice. There's smoke in the background. It's not too smoky for me. Some people it's too smoky for them. That's normal, but it's really not too smoky for me. I was fortunate enough to try this sample from Double A Shaves on YouTube. Check his channel out. I did a trade a while back. I just knew I was going to like this scent before I even tried it. I just knew it. It doesn't, it's not reminiscent of a fire to me, anyway. Lost the fiber. That's great. Um, just a really maple forward, spicy. Slightly smoky scent scale, one to ten. I'd give it a we got eight point five, especially on the face. It's uh, no slouch in the scent department, strength department, or scent. Really nice autumn scent, hence autumn ash. So that's what we're going to go with. First pass. This razor does, uh, I guess, it bends. I can't find the word right now. It pivots. To the contours of your face, sort of like a cartridge. The only blade that fits these are the feather something. I can't remember the exact name of them, but they're the feather single edge. I 
the only blade that fits them without altering the blade by the way this is the core version of the one blade it's only got the metal core and the little one blade symbol on the bottom there probably can't make it out but it's there it, it uh flexes like that. nothing like a double edge Nothing like, sort of like a leaf. But different feeling. Because you're utilizing the thick blade of the single edge. And I'm going to show you how to alter those blades. All you need is a pair of needle nose pliers. Pretty much. A razor, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself unless you go this way like an idiot. I mean, as long as you don't be a moron with the razor, it's pretty cut and dry. You can add pressure. All it's going to do is flex. These razors are not cheap. The core is pretty cheap, but still about around 30 bucks, I believe. And it's mainly plastic. Anything on the razor was metal. I wish it was the head of the razor, honestly. But... They've got three tiers to pick from, three or four, I can't even remember, I've had this for about two years, two and a half years, they may have came out with more, I don't know, but I went and done these blades just because um, I find they don't keep the sharpness like they would on a a normal razor like a gym you don't know what a gym looks like something like that a gym this is the micromatic uh, you control the angle with that you must control it with your hand and wrist um, However, with this, it's going to flex with you, with your face contour. So, my brain tells me that's going to dull the edge quicker. Because, I don't know, that's just what my brain thinks for some reason. That may not be true, but... It's really easy to alter these blades for this razor. And they're a lot cheaper than the feather. The feathers look like this. Hopefully I don't make an ass of myself and I can actually find a pack of them without breaking everything. Uh, yeah, I don't look like I'm going to be able to do that right now. Anyway. Sorry about that. Just about broke things, so. All they are is a specialty single edge. It's like a single edge without a spine. 
or little special little cuts in it that you don't need for this razor particularly so all right I'll grab all that out of that I don't really need to speak about Southern Witchcrafts. Um, all I can say is if you haven't tried them, you're missing out. This scent is great. Um, they were sold out of all the, the Splash, the EDT, or I'm sorry, EDP at the moment whenever i tried to buy it they only had the soap but i already had the soap so that's what the uh, autumn splash looks like after about four or five uses you still got a bunch of soap there <clears throat> if you brush load it lasts you a lot longer i think i do about a hundred quick sw swirls it may sound like a lot but it's really not I go one way about 25 and I switch the brush and go another way and switch it up every My goatee's been growing now for a boat. Mm. Eight and a half months. Almost nine months. So. This is a really good razor to come in to wet shaving with. From a cartridge. But. Um, I really recommend some of the double edged razors out there. Such as the Yates and above the tie, charcoal goods, timeless, all great stuff, but none of them flex. None of them contour to your face, so just keep that in mind. It's very easy to learn how to keep an angle with your wrist. And once you learn that, you can get into straight razors if you'd like, which is an even more... Difficult, in my opinion, but not impossible. Takes a lot of practice, patience. I might could get another shape out of this blade, but I'll go back to the reason I do this. For pleasure and comfort and obviously it won't be as comfortable as this shape so I'll chunk it in the blade bank I'm saving my blades to make a razor 
Anybody that knows anybody that can make a razor out of a bunch of blades, let me know. I have quite a few I've saved up. I don't know exactly how many it takes. But. I first heard of this from John June on YouTube. Not sure if he watches my channel or not, but. If you do, what's up, John? All right, it's good for me. That's the face real quick. I'm going to keep growing out my goatee. I'm not sure for how long. I mean, I may keep it for quite a while I'm going for about right here right at the shirt collar so if I can grow that far I'm not sure I've never tried but we shall see all right to finish it up I'm gonna go alum stick I picked up on Amazon about like three bucks Very, very minor stinging. No, I mean minor. Nothing that's going to take you to the hospital. Nothing you're going to even scream about. Then I'm going to go Zingari Man, Sago Base, Sago Bomb, I'm sorry. Haven't used this since last year. Five squirts of that. And we're going to add to that the Southern Witchcraft Sawin PDP, which is awesome. Just like this bomb, but a little bit better because it has scent. Five and five. Mix it. And apply it. Try my best not to hit the microphone. <laughs> Probably do a head shave in the morning. With a breakfast soap I have. One moment. Uh, I don't have time to do that, but I'll cut that off camera. All right. So we did all that. Now I'm going to show you how I alter my blades. Into fitting into the one blade if you have one. So... As you know, we just shave with this. We're going to pull it out the top. We're going to put it in the razor bank. If you don't have a razor bank, I highly recommend them. All right, we're going to take these blades and push one out the front. So you don't think I'm doing any trickery shit. Watch your fingers. And grab the sharp part of the blade. You're going to turn pliers to the back. Wiggle it. Don't take much. Just wiggle it. 
If you lose grip, grip it back with your fingers. And go right after that edge, and there, that's all it takes. They're not <laughs> trying to get these uh, spines on there tight as hell. They don't. They don't think anybody's going to be doing this. So there's a brand new blade, and just to show you, show you it works. No blade. Push it right down in there. Goes no further. Alignment, perfect. Put it away for the next shave. So, hope everyone enjoyed this video. Learned a little something, maybe. And you throw the spine in the trash can. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning for the head shave. Uh... I'll give you a preview of what I'm going to use. Well, we'll just save that for in the morning. No, no need in all that. But thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my content. I really appreciate it. And if you did not like the video, that's 21 minutes, 30 seconds wasted of your life. So like the video, comment, subscribe, all that. Later.